since we started this company OPST we've started working with manufacturers to build these things that we've been creating ourselves for years and and with that we've been able to develop the what we consider to be the ultimate running line so yeah considering that we've been goofing around mono running lines forever and with a lot of mono running lines the only thing about them that's a real bummer is that they tend to fall apart they don't have much ultraviolet tolerance they, uh, that's really your big you know you gotta keep track of that fishing for a certain period of time so we started to research some materials that were a lot more tolerant in that category but also had um, the characteristics that we wanted and uh, it was surprising how many were actually out there that just needed a little tweaking and so we've arrived at this our OPSD laser line running lines most of the coded running lines are very sticky there's a lot of surface area there and so we wanted to come up with something a little better so we initially started using the uh, uh, monofilaments and the monofilaments of course have a lot of stretch in them they degrade in the UV so there's a need to do something else so once we started this company OPST now we have manufacturers building the things that we've been dreaming about and we've developed running lines that have our old idea of the ultimate character. Um, no permanent memory in any conditions. Uh, absolutely as limp as we could possibly get it. And you know, it's, it's limp in any conditions, hot or cold, it has no memory whatsoever. <laughs> um, it also has a calculated stretch. Calculated stretch will give you exceptional knot strength and durability, and you'll still get a solid hook set even on the longest casts. It's awesome. That's pretty much all you can say. Super small diameter, floats. We'll see how beautifully limp it is. Shoots really good. Yeah, really good. And it's a neat green color. And this is brand new. This is, I just this is the first time I fished this reel is today. So it's there's there's your memory. <laughs> Zero. One time out. I fished it one other spot. Ben fished it. And this is the third time it's been in the water. It's nice and moon. It's glorious. This 30 pound, 35 actually. God, that is really nice. See ya. And shoots like a laser. With a smaller diameter running lines, shorter head systems, and shorter rods, the casting limitation is almost zero. Even with small three, four, five weight rods, what can be done is pretty much mind boggling. You can't fish a two-handed rod out of a boat. It's impossible. It's impossible to spade cast unless, of course, you're standing in the water. <laughs> and as you can see, I am clearly not standing in the water. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting like I'm painting my toenails. Casting 75 feet. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.